Uh, continuation of the spare flawless run, conjunctivitis, first of three possible bosses you come across. God bless and protect and guide us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You guaranteedly get a potion after whatever the first boss is, so if you have full potions, go ahead and use at least one at the first boss. So potions are valuable in the heart of difficulties, so be sure to do your best to avoid hits and hang on to them. Food is nice to... Uh, help in between potions and also both the skills necromancy and gastronomy the mutations are useful as ways to regain health until the final boss because they're not end game for the boss but to get to that point if you're going to reset your skills they're quite useful for a final build you probably are not going to want to use them when you're ready to clear a difficulty. But to get to that point and learn that difficulty, they're quite useful. Almost dead, would have taken a little more hits than I would have liked, though I am learning to use Flawless more effectively, so I guess it's acceptable given the circumstances. <sighs> And there's conjunctivitis, being fought, fought with flawless despair, 
Corruptive Cloud, Light Speed, Azure Skills, Slash Traps, and Ice Shield as of now, which is quite useful, though it is a survival build, and I'm going for Brutality, so finding a better shield in this Flawless Shield build. Overall, I will be looking for a Brutality one, though overall, the Ice Shield is quite useful for most builds until you can find a more specific one. Or a Survival build, it would be great for since it's green. And there's Conjunctivitis, I have the choice between Sleeping Sanctuary, and since I have Spider Climb, I can climb up that wall. I am going to take the graveyard eventually to the caverns and go from there. God bless and have a great time, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.